PD-1, PD-L1 therapies uh, have recently been shown to be effective in hepatocellular carcinoma. Uh, we know that approximately 20% of the patients will respond uh, to anti-PD-1 therapies, uh, but the problem is that we don't really know who uh, these patients are up front. So whenever we are considering immunotherapy in these patients, the, 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 the scientific challenge behind the question is who are the patients that we should offer this, this treatment to? And I think PDL1 expression has been advocated as a stratifying biomarker, as a predictive correlate of efficacy in these particular tumors. Um, in the early phase trials, it has been shown that PDL1 is not really predictive of response, and therefore we um, in, in our project, we wanted to establish whether patients with disseminated disease, in which uh, basically HCC is not just spread to the liver but also to other organs, uh, the expression of PDL1, PDL2, and other immune tolerogenic pathways will be differentially distributed across primary and metastatic disease. So we uh, collected a retrospective series. Um, of clinical samples that we profiled using immunohistochemistry as well as nanostring uh, technology by looking at immune pathways in the primary metastatic disease. And I think the key finding that we found is that although PDL2 was universally distributed across primary metastatic disease, PDL1 wasn't. So there was a great deal of discordance in PDL1 expression across primary and metastatic HCC. And that to me suggests that we could have had uh, an element of sampling bias, for example, in the, in the prospective clinical trials that have actually assessed PDL1 as a stratifying biomarker.